Hello Charles, thank you for getting in touch. It was important that I had this chat with you. It's good to see you Tony. It's been quite a while since we were at boarding school together. You were always this what? How is it going in the banking sector? I cannot believe you have risen to the heights of a chief executive officer of a leading bank. I wish I could say it was down to hard work, but the truth is, I have just been smart. Charles, I am going to be honest with you. I am very worried about the global economy. Okay, Tony, this is off the record. Hope you are not recording this. <laughs> hey, Charles, you are still the Joker, eh? Tony, I learned from an early age that there are mainly two types of people. Those that get taken advantage of, and those that take advantage. It's rather like those nature programs, you are either the prey or the predator, it's cruel, but that is the way it is. I remember Tony, you and I used to play chess, well life is rather like a chess game, you have to plan ahead and sacrifice various pieces to protect the king. Consider the pawns on a chessboard as the average person in the street. Make no mistake at all Tony, it's a rigged game out there. I know, but you really do articulate it well. Tony, do you really think the politicians represent the people? They do not represent the people, but it is difficult getting that message to my friends. Politicians are mere puppets to the ruling elite. I am amused by the fact that the average person is so ignorant and fail to see the bigger picture. Do you remember me saying to you at boarding school when I was 11 years old, that I did not believe in God? Yes, I remember it well. I also agreed with you. We were both critical thinkers. I remember thinking that in the past, when people did not travel nearly as much as they do today, it was easy to be conditioned by a set of beliefs within your community. However as we entered the era of global travel, we could compare and contrast different belief systems. I soon came to the conclusion that each belief system had a different slant, and considered them a superstition. Quite right Tony, it was an illusion to control the masses and give them hope. To be honest, do you really think the elite believe all that nonsense, shall we say, it benefited the elite, in that, the masses were easier to control. Tony, have you heard of the Hegelian dialectic? Yes, to put it simply it is, problem, reaction, solution. I will give you an example. Let's say that the elite were worried about the passing of peak, oil, and realized that there was likely to be a shortage, that is the problem. They then make out for example, Colonel Gaddafi, was a bad person and was cruel to his people. Consider that, the reaction, the elite wanted. The solution was to invade Libya to liberate the people, so we are told. The reality is, it was to obtain the light sweet crude oil and to prevent Colonel Gaddafi creating a monetary system that was not debt based. That is correct. It is a good job that the average person in the street do not understand the Hegelian dialectic, otherwise my position would be compromised. Don't you feel guilty about getting rich on the backs of the average person getting poor? Not at all, it is a dog-eat-dog -dog world. The working class have been kept ignorant by the trivia broadcast by the media. For example, the top football clubs pay their players a massive salary, something like £240,000 a week, or put it another way, 280 times the average salary. The football clubs are just multinational corporations who do not care about their fans, it is all about making money. The clever, marketing machine manipulated the masses, it never ceases to amaze me. I watch also the alternative media, such as Russian Today, I listen to Gerald Silente, the trends forecaster, and Chris Martensen, Chris has an excellent handle on the global economy. I really wish the average person would broaden their horizon. From a personal point of view, I would rather the public remain ignorant, can you imagine what position I would be in, if they understood the scam? What do you think is going to happen with the global economy? We have been having an honest and candid discussion, therefore I will end it by telling you as it is. I am okay, I have made my millions, I have already pulled up the ladder behind me. I knew, just like the other rich elite, 
that the Ponzi scheme could not go on forever, it was mathematically impossible. In a normal business cycle, there is growth and contraction. This is no ordinary business cycle, following the introduction of derivatives, credit cards and subprime lending. There is too much debt in the system, therefore a depression is guaranteed. I shall be okay though, I will enjoy my time on the yacht drinking champagne.